Every week we bring you stories of inspirational athletes overcoming the odds. Jada Harris is a star student and athlete at Sirius High School. As Brian Mueller tells us, while she makes it look easy on the volleyball court, life has been anything but simple the last couple of years for Jada and her mother. When Jada Harris goes up for a shot, there's rarely a return. Yeah. My strength is definitely my right arm. <laughs> I love to swing. It's one of my favorite things to do. When she's on fire, she's untouchable. Um, and she is, like, she's a great athlete, a really good athlete, a really good athlete. Jada has been playing volleyball since seventh grade and has grown into being the heavy hitter in the middle for the Bulldogs. Yeah. Volleyball is a way for me to express how I am. I'm working my way up to the best I see myself in the future and doing that it just makes me feel empowering like knowing that I'm accomplishing a goal of mine. She's by far has potential to be probably one of the stronger female athletes as a volleyball player that this school has ever seen. About the only thing stronger than her right arm is her leadership skills. To see her to go from that, you know, that shy freshman kid that a lot of them turn into, into like the, the awesome young woman who's the leader of the campus, who when she's on a team, she cares for her team, she works with her team. And you see it in sports, you see it in leadership, you see it on campus. Um, to see how she went from that to that is awesome. It's like the coolest thing about her. Students really gravitate towards her and she's someone that you want to know and you want to get to know. Um, and for me, she's someone I want in my class. If I could have her in both of my classes, I would. <laughs> Whether it's on the court or in the classroom, Jada likes to be front and center. I like to show my face. I like people to know who I am. Not so I can be in the media or anything, but more so people know they have a friend in me. I'm someone that they can come and talk to, who can give them advice or be someone like a friendly nature to the school. It's that type of attitude that made the pandemic so difficult for Jada, whose mental health plummeted during the lockdown. It had a really big decline on me. I felt I wasn't able to accomplish my goals or accomplish anything really. The pandemic also took its toll on the family's bank account when Jada's mother lost her steady source of income. Financially, I was struggling, you know. I'm the, the sole income of the house. I'm taking care of everything. And so money's not coming through. Bills are still piling up. The electronics company Monica works for got shut down for a time during the pandemic. Monica not only had Jada living with her, but also her two other kids, daughter-in-law and grandchildren. The result was near poverty conditions for the family. It was difficult. It was a lot of canned foods. It was paid the water bill this month, but the light bill the following month. Seeing her kind of stress about how she's going to make ends meet at the end of the night or at the end of the week, I mean. It, it was kind of hard. And then Monica was dealt another blow. She got a serious bout of COVID and suddenly those bills weren't the main concern. I had already setting plans with my oldest daughter, uh, telling her that she's gonna need to take care of Jada because I wasn't gonna make it. But Jada wasn't ready to give up on her mom. She knew that I had told her that her sister will be taking care of her. And she says, no mom, you're gonna be okay. And I'm gonna help take care of you. While Monica got a clean bill of health, Jada helped the other bills get paid by netting various jobs. It felt really good. I watched her struggle for so long and then I was able to reach out my hand further enough and be like, hey mom, I can help you. She was happy to do it. Uh, I'm very proud of her. Between mother and daughter, that pride is a two-way street. I showed Monica Jada's answer when I asked her what her mother means to her. I do everything for my family, and I do more for my mom. She's the one who shaped me. She's the one who showed me that in life, I work for it, I get it. She's worked hard her whole life. She's had, I have a troubled life sometimes, and she's had worse. And she, the fact that she was able to do so much for us, it's just amazing. It's, I don't know how to explain it, honestly. So beautiful. That's beautiful. At the end of the day, she truly, definitely loves me. She's a beautiful soul. She really is.
Reporting in series, Brian Mueller, 49ers Sack High Sports. Gina says her goal is to play Division I volleyball and wants to study to be an orthodontist. Outstanding.